In this video, I want to talk about the syllabus. So first, how would you get to it? So here in Sakai, there's a link right here. It says syllabus. We'd click on that and you'll see the document. I'm just going to read it from the Google Doc that I used to create it. That way it's a little easier to read. So you would click it obviously right here. And you would see it. But I'm just going to read to you. I'm not going to read you the whole document because you can read it yourself. Um, but I'm just going to talk about some of the highlights here. So this course is not entirely designed by me. I say that because um, you'll, you'll notice at least from time to time um, not where I'm saying like I do things differently, not like that, but like there are certain things that like I'm empowered to change and there are certain things that I am not. Um, the syllabus is one of those things I am not empowered to change. Um, so with that said, best way to contact me, by email. Uh, email goes right to my phone. It's, um, you know, you know that I'll see it right away. It doesn't mean that I'll reply right away, but you'll know that I see it right away. And if you know that I see it right away, but I haven't replied in like a few days, that would be where you send it to me again. Sometimes things get missed and it's nothing like, I'm not ignoring anyone. Um, but, um, you know, if you send it to me again, then I'll absolutely reply. So there, you could use, um, I know different instructors do different things, but for me, if you use the Sakai like messaging thing, um, it's not a very good way to contact me. It, it, uh, just send me an email. Um, I don't have so many emails that I can't manage what's going on. Here we've got the description and the objectives that basically this is a introductory macroeconomics course. So it gives us an idea of what we're doing. And then um, we get right into what are you being assessed on? So we basically have a few categories of things here. The one is kind of our discussion form where there's a prompt and you make a response and then you need to reply to others. Now I've removed um, all of these kind of restrictions that you have to post by a certain day and then reply by a certain day and then reply by some other day it gets really complicated. I'm just putting down that, you know, it's due by Sunday, both your response and your replies. It's not my presumption. Yes, there's always gonna be some people that do things on Sunday at the last minute, um, but there are gonna be others that work on it earlier. Um, it's just the way that it goes. And you reply to things as you see fit, you write your own response, um, you know, it's not like we're going to have like 20 people replying to a post because it's not likely that everyone's going to have read it, you know, depending on when you post it. So we'll give up a little bit of vibrant discussion. But on the other hand, you don't have like three different deadlines for when you need to do different things by. We're going to just do it, you know, by the Sunday of that module, um, that deadline of the Sunday of the module at 11.55 p.m. Unfortunately, I can't change this, so it goes against what I just said. Just know that it's here, but it's like, well, you can't see my face, but it's like, wink, wink. We don't really follow that. Then we have our homework questions, which again, I've made, I'll be making a separate video that will talk about them. But again, your best way to find out what your homework questions are for each chapter would be that from this getting started document that I'm starting to populate here. There's a link that says the homework assignment questions. You would click on that and it gets you this and it tells you for each module what the chapters are that we're doing and what the questions are that you need to do. And then you click on that link. And it's just a PDF that I created from the textbook and you can just look for the specific questions you need to do and then do it. Not that tough. And then we have quizzes almost every week, and then we have uh, an exam, or two exams, sorry. And then here's our point distribution, totaling a thousand points, which then gives you a way to estimate your grade. Grades are always in Sakai, and I do try to grade things rather quickly. Here's our textbook. Again, we're part of this topper first day 
thing, which basically means you can just go to the bookstore, tell them what class you're in, you're in Econ 203, um, Section 2, and they should just give you the book. Again, you did pay for it, so I don't think it's like absolutely free, but the textbook is there and it's been charged to your student account. <laughs> just I feel like whoever wrote this syllabus is aging themselves because I haven't heard the word netiquette in a, an incredibly long period of time. Um, yeah, yes, you need to log into Sakai. Am I going to be looking that you do it every day? Dude, I don't even know if I log into it every day. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm not sure why they want to control you in that kind of way, but whatever, it's there. Um, you can even ask me basic technical questions. I will still reply and it will not take me two business days to reply. Netiquette, let's just treat each other with respect. Uh, you know, I, I am reading the discussion posts, but I read them in a delayed sense. I'm not reading them like every day as soon as someone posts something. Don't be offensive to others. This is not your time and your place to do it. Create a Twitter or X account, right? And post on there and offend people. This is just class, macroeconomics, not a controversial, you know, grumpiness inspiring subject. That's why I like it in some sense. You know, we're not talking about like, you know, controversial things. So let's not introduce them into this class if we don't have to. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I use this example, but I use it just because of, of who I am, right? I, I'm Catholic and like, why would I want to start talking about, you know, like, uh, you know, different things that the Catholic Church cares about a lot, right? Why would I want to talk about, you know, freedom to choose versus, you know, um, abortion laws? Like, Dude, what does that have to do with economics? Uh, you know, uh, I'm not saying that you can't have an opinion about it. It's just that this is not the place for that. Uh, create a blog. Do it on your own time. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'd be great. Um, yeah. Be considerate. Don't be rude or threatening. Don't personally attack. Flaming, is that still a thing? Don't be, don't be mean to others. And this is not the, well, I guess you can, just this class is not the place to do it. Um, and just in terms of like exam makeups and whatnot, it's just, we have deadlines. Um, and I actually am a little bit more generous on the deadline than um, I'm supposed to be. Um, you just need to get things done on time. It's a lot harder for everyone involved when you don't get things done on time. Things you submit must be your own. If you need uh, accommodation, then you should reach out to the Learning and Student Development Center and they will get you that accommodation that you need. And then look at this. Dude, this is confusing. Look at this. This is six of the 16 pages on the syllabus um, of what you need to do on certain days. And uh, dude, that's really tough. Hey, Shiting, could you make it easier so that we could all understand it? I totally could. Weekly checklist of activities. Let's start to look at that. Okay, so this is the one for, we're going to have to update the date here. So don't worry about these dates here and whatnot, because this is a, well, let's look at the updated document, sorry. Let me go to the updated document. So what you can see here is that this course contains eight modules. So how did I get to this? So right, we have eight modules. I got to this document through the thing I created. Sorry, um, I got to this document from the getting started kind of big document here, weekly checklist of activities. You'd click on that link and it will give you this document where I've got the eight modules listed. You've got little check boxes that you can say, yep, did this, did this, did this, did this, did this. And you've got a clear 
identification of the common deadline that applies to all of these things. It says exactly what that six pages took on the syllabus. And I will adhere to this. Um, so if there's any discrepancies, you can always email me and we'll figure it out. But I mean, I've put out here what you need to do. Um, it's an easy way to see what you have to do by certain days. Okay, uh, let's go back to the syllabus. Um, and that's actually pretty much it. Um, we at the, the syllabus concludes with our policies for uh, harassment, with accessibility, um, harassment reporting, um, other support issues. Um, but um, if you know if you run into any trouble, send me an email, and I'm sure we will resolve it in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so you can read the syllabus, obviously. Um, it's not going to really change too much in just the eight weeks that we have with each other, but um, this video just kind of adds a little bit more of a flourish about what's all happening.